River State House of Assembly begins impeachment process against Governor Siminalayayi Fubara and Justice Muhammad Datijo has called for the reduction of the powers of the Chief Justice of Nigeria. I am Bola Oba and this is Plus Politics. The River State House of Assembly has reportedly begun the impeachment process against State Governor Simi Nala Ifubara. Consequently, the Assembly has directed the Clerk of the House to serve Governor Fubara with the impeachment notice. The Assembly had earlier impeached the Majority Leader of the House, Honorable Edith Sineye, to apparently pave the way for the impeachment proceedings against the Governor. Governor Fubara had also stumped the assembly complex where he addressed his supporters, saying he had not committed any impeachable offense to warrant the move against him, while assuring the people of Rivers of getting the dividends of democracy. Joining me to discuss this is Alester Wilkos, economic and political affairs analyst. Wilkos, thank you for guesting on Plus Politics. Hello, we calls. Yeah, hello, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Uh, what yeah, is... I said you were having my humble fellow to be on the platform with the great brother of us. <laughs> I'm blushing. I'm, I don't know why a black man looks when he's blushing, but... Uh, okay. Alistair, what is happening in River State? If I may ask somebody who is aboriginally from from rivers well uh the visa originally well when i was born i wasn't there i was only told that i'm from river states and that's where i grew up so uh, so you are right to say aboriginally i'm from river states and um it saddens me that because i'm involved and i've known the policies of river states since 1999 i can even date back the policies of river states to 1979, uh, when uh, Mefodo Kilo was governor. I know the squabble between Mefodo Kilo and uh, Mr. Wanodi, who was of the MPP. Um, there has not been lack of uh, uh, um, lack of theater practice in rivers in rivers state politics. I remember the famous election between um, Peter Odile and uh, the former so these are some of the theatrics and each time from 19, 1999 anytime uh, you try to bring a god a, a government to a match in reverse politics it is always met with this kind of situation uh reverse cannot be lagos the way the lagos godfather managed the political sons that he brought into lagos was quite different the the template was totally different from other states every other state that has tried to be a godfather and to create godsons in politics they've all failed you want to talk about your jesus or call of Abia state it failed woefully because not up to six months the, the latest one oshimole with uh what's his name now uh the governor of those states uh, no love lost Obaseke, it failed. So, which one you want to talk about? Akpabio with uh, 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 Emmanuel, Udom Emmanuel, it failed. So, they are not able to copy the Lagos model because they do not understand what it takes to be a godfather. I foresee what was coming, what's happened during River State. I foresaw it coming because um, when we can hold elsewhere in reverse politics. It's as if he captured the rivers people. And the rivers people willingly, I'm saying this advisory because I forewarned, I said some of these things in so many forums. I forewarned that when we came to Kuba, he became an emperor. No disrespect to him. Because he ended up capturing every reverse man to his fold and everyone become subject to Wiki's whims and caprices. So he felt 
he has arrived as an emperor and he could install a puppet in the person of Similalaye Similalaye Fubara, who was not a politician, who was a core civil servant, and who was the accountant general of the United States as at the time we came held sway. He kept everybody in the dark as to who he wants to succeed in. And when the time of primaries came, he brought out this joker. He has to, he has to uh, create enmity between himself and the other mainstream members of the AP of the PDP, talking about uh, people like um, Sekibo, people like uh, the chairman, the, the then uh, uh, chair, uh, chairman of M of, uh, of uh, PDP, uh, Secundus, and similar other people. In fact, he sent one of the contestants to prison. Uh, I can't remember his name now. So, and then he emerged with Sim. Sim emerged. He protected Sim. Even when the EFCC had a case of 485 billion fraud against him, he against him through Sim. Sim was to be arrested. He protected Sim, covered him up, pampered him, and then brought him to power. So he felt he has brought in a puppet. But you know, uh, uh, Gwala, you, 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 you know politics. The moment you get power, you will get, there will be new interests that will come to play. And presently, Wiki is not in the good state because. He's more of an Abuja politician than a, a, home, a home politician. He's now more of the, 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 the assistant president of Nigeria. I'm not, I didn't say vice, I said assistant president. Because anybody in FCT that is governing FCT is like an assistant president in the country. So he has a whole job. So there, there will be new, there will be new uh, interest in River State uh, that will want to also assert authority. And they so, will go to see so, in order to change the, the, the dynamics. That's exactly what is happening in the state right now. So, uh, if I may just infer from some of your reasonings and submissions, it may now be turning out to be a mistake for Wicked to have uh, accepted the appointment in Abuja because if he was sitting his behind uh, down in, in Rivers, probably uh, he will still have a, a, a much a masterly control of the situation. You see, it, yes, you see, there is no, there is no thing saying the fact that all politics is local in this, in this, in this part of the country world. You know, remember when I showed up in 2007, wanted to go to the Senate. I'm sure some people, some, some very close friends will have called him and said, hey "Man, if you still want to hold Lagos, remain in Lagos." He quickly changed his mind and called uh, Solomon, Ghanaian Solomon. No, he used, he, he, he used it to pacify Solomon. Solomon was one of those who were very angry that he ultimately anointed Fashola. And uh, well, many, of them, many, well, of them, many of them changed parties, but Solomon decided he wasn't going to change party, but he, was, he knew Solomon was unhappy. So he compensated well, Solomon. The fact, is, the fact is he could do without the Solomon. But he also know that he needs his base. And if you are not on ground, you are not on ground. Remember what Amechi did. When Wiki was becoming too powerful in Rivers, what did Amechi do? He sent him to Abuja. He sent himself at Dakuku to Abuja. When they were becoming powerful in Rivers policy, because Wiki was uh, the festival of South Amechi. So when Amechi discovered that Wiki was going powerful, what did he send him to Abuja? Unfortunately, that was his own undoing because he got to Abuja and got aligned with the, with the powers in Abuja, uh, especially with the First Lady then, Patient Jonathan, and the youth governor to upset Amechi back in back the river state. But you see, for you to dismiss anybody, send the president to Abuja, he will lose track of the home base. Remember, remember what, how, I mean, how Jim Wobodo lost out in uh, Enugu politics. He left Namani in, in Enugu, and then went to Abuja. Before he knew it, Namani has swept off Enugu from him and the man could not even come back to Enugu again. So it was not, it was, it was, if Wiki really has wanted to remain with the full control, you know, at some point I understand that uh, Sim was not staying in government, he was staying in, uh, in a second, I understand, I, I'm not sure. I'm saying this one uh, with, with, with caption. Because every of the appointees Sim made was, was new face of realist. Sim never had his own men. In, in appointed all wicked commissioners were, were, were the one he, he used and before we came left he kept a structure 
of the Ikore is to hold power in River State. The chief judge of that is an Ikore man. So many uh, people that holding strategic positions were all the Ikore people, were all from the upland. Remember rivers, the, the river line and the upland uh, uh, poly, uh, dichot political dichotomy comes to play. So Wiki was, was able to fortify, he was able to fortify the, uh, the, the, the governance structure in River State by putting, by putting so many of his loyalists. Even the speaker was from Upland. It was one of his loyalists. The chief of staff was his loyalist. So he just kept seeing, and seeing was in position, sincerely. He was a civil servant. So he felt he has gotten somebody that he can use as a puppet. But like I said, Mitchell's advice moved back home. The moment he moved to Abuja, and he's having a whole lot of bites, a whole lot of things to bite in Abuja, some interest will certainly spring up in River State. And that's interest that will spring up, and they will not try to tell him, we are the governor, we are not in the in his such authority. And I said, when that happens, then there will be conflict, which is what you see playing out. And for me, um, it's rather sad and unfortunate, but it was not unexpected. Anybody, any political scientist, any analyst that said it, you were not expecting what is going to be state now, does not understand the, the game of politics. But for me, it came too soon. It came rather too soon. Because right now, SIM is not totally cleared. SIM still have case in the in the in the uh, still have election petition. I don't know if uh, if the petitioners of a, of uh, APC if they went to the Court of Appeal and ultimately the Supreme Court. If they did, there could still be an upset against SIM. I said they did not because the way the, the tribunal dismissed uh, the, the petition in River State, it's uh, it's almost as if APC were not interested in the in the in the in the in the petition. But if they choose to advance the petition to the, the court of appeal and also to the Supreme Court, this week will go and wait for them there because they know the uh, I mean just like what they did to Ngige. it was not the same PDP that pulled the rug off Ngige's feet at the at the at the, at the tribunal. And the medical in India to lose at the seat. So you see, it's it's a dicey situation for for sin. I would have expected uh, him to a bit to have still been playing the uh, uh, playing the good boy until all his cases in the tribunal has been disposed of, and then he now have full power of the office. Alistair, because right now, Alistair, at, at this point, do you think uh, Governor Fubara? can wait through the muddy waters and he seem to have jumped into now you think he can wait through it because we can uh, we fight we can fight like a bulldog with a locked with a locked jaw on any on anything so I, i'm just thinking he may have he may have uh, aroused wiki's vindictive instincts too early I, I yes i i i said it's too early in the day for this to have happened because it's barely six months i'll be eight six barely seven months that you guys got into power that was sworn in so i would have expected that sim will have played low not taking advice from uh, those that are not that the new kids on the block those that now want to be the new godfathers and finished is all his petitions as up to the Supreme Court and get cleared. Certainly, we can have expected this rebellion. I, if he did not expect it, then I don't know how he played his own politics. He would have expected it. But, and uh, that is why he fortified the entire reverse architecture, governance architecture, with his loyalists up to the, up to the chief judge of the state. Now, we will we'll, we'll see him survive it. Yes, he will survive it. You know why? Because River State is dynamic, and if you are not there today, Odili that helps way, Odili is like uh, a, a, a a a spent a spent uh, what do you call it a spent shell of of of, of a cannon. He's, he's, he has no influence in River State. Amechi has won out. In fact, in fact, even with his bad policies that he played towards the twilight of the last administration, that he was so powerful. He played a bad politics, which you which were rather unfortunate. He has went out. And so we can win out. So there, there cannot be a time when you have two got two 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 captains in the ship of River State. You must know because the truth of the matter is 
a lot of people I, I felt chapping on their toes, even up to the uh, 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 traditional establishment by which I, I, I think, people, like, so I, I think what, you may, what you may be leaving out that may be to the advantage of the governor is the fact that River State's uh, financial pause and uh, River State's uh, pause is quite is quite enormous and whoever controls that pulse i wonder who can who, who can I, I i i often crack a joke that if it took the pulse of quara state to make the sarakis lose a bank you know uh that bola metunumbu should be thanking his god that fashola decided to chicken out in 2011, because the first law had gone ahead, wanting to wanting to assert himself as a political force, uh, Bola Metinumbu as a political phenomenon would have been dead in the water in 2011. I, I think Wike, if he's not careful, facing the governor of River State may be his pol political non dimities. Uh, no, no, I, I, I cannot agree with you less, Bola. I cannot agree with you less. The truth of the matter is, um, you know, in Lagos, like I said, nobody, nobody understands the Lagos, uh, the Lagos model. In that, uh, it is not just Bola Ahmed Tinubu. It is a force, a, a powerful force that controls the establishment. Bola Ahmed may just be the figure face. There are some powerful, up to the traditional institutions that can call you to order i mean um when uh Fashola tried it uh he, he, he understands the game when uh Ambode tried it he also understands the game you see nobody no other state government has been able state or governor has been able to replicate that model but so you see like you said the post of river state is huge whoever has that post has the power and the reverse people have made themselves there is always a price tag for every reverse man now, which is rather sad and unfortunate. This was not the reverse thing we, that 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 I, that I knew when I was a young boy, when I was a small boy growing up in the cities of Portacourt, that lived in number 84 Bonnie Street, number 61 Bishop Johnson, number 26 Harbour Road, number 39 Niger Street, number, uh, back to number 84 Bonnie, and other places that I lived, that I lived in River State. This is not the reverse that I knew. Unfortunately, um, right from time of Peter O'Dele, he has used the resources and the resources of the state to corrupt the reverse mind, and everybody now has a price. So whoever controls the treasury knows is that and knows his onions can buy as much friends as possible, can buy as much reality as possible, can buy as much support as possible. That is the river state of today. And um, unfortunately, if uh, we can might think that he has the federal power, but not for the week is fighting so many battles now. He's fighting the PDP battle. And his, 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 his backbone of Fiverr PDP battle is the post of River State. Is the treasury of River State. That is his backbone in fighting the PDP battle. And so now, that he now has to fight his, the, the government of River State. Uh, we can my, my, my end up being, uh, be, uh, I mean, his non dignities might just be on the, on the side. But uh, you can never say never, you never say die in politics. You never can tell the, the, the one of the cards that he has. You understand he's a good fighter. He has displayed it. You saw even even the transition of River State was not the same again. You know what he said to that uh, to some of the kings when he gathered them, the one that uh, that was wearing Danfodio calf, Danfodio hat, and all whatnot. You know this is somebody that was brutal to everybody. As even the transition institutions, he was nice to his people. He really promoted the queries. He was nice to them. He promoted them into high offices, employment. He was very nice to the query people. So there is no gazing. He still have massive support in the Kore land. But of course, River State is between the River Line and the Upland. And of course, Sim, Sim belongs to the River Line uh, uh, block that has never produced a governor since the return to democracy. The River Line has never produced a governor since the return to democracy. And the River Line population is bigger than the Upland population. So you discover that um, uh, Sim will have big, big protection with, among these people. Sim has the war chest now in terms of resources to buy loyalty, to buy anybody that he wants as friend, as loyalty, uh, uh, for loyalty to his side. 
And it is not unusual that this will happen. We will we be able to invoke the federal power now that he's hobnobbing with APC and with the president? Will the, will the president be, uh, be, be willing at this point, early stage, to deploy the federal minds? Talking about the security forces <laughs> to help UK to regain its relevance in River State. That is yet to be seen. I do not see that happening in a hurry. I see that in this white, the riverland people, and indeed a large section of River State, Alistair, will rise in the face of sin. Alistair, if Amechi could not uh, wield the federal power against a, a sitting governor, UK, UK should know too that it may not be a tea party for him to wield the federal power against a sitting governor. After all, Amechi was the beloved of the president. He was in Abuja, just like Wike is in Abuja now. And yet, he could not wield. Uh, I, I remember the elections for the re-election of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Wike it was alleged that Amechi went to Port Harcourt with some soldiers. Ultimately, Wike was re-elected. That, that was in 2019. So I, I, I'm sitting here now thinking the Abuja factor may not be uh, that potent in, in rivers, especially with the kind of ports that the governor controls. Am I wrong? Well, well, no, uh, you are not, you are not wrong, Bola. Uh, but you see, there are different dynamics in the reverse uh, embargo with respect to use of federal power. It was the federal power that I made, that uh, we can use against the nation river states. It was federal. Now, it depends on the sitting president how he how how he's ready to deploy the federal power. Now, during the time of Jonathan, uh, Jonathan was ready and willing to deploy the federal power in river states against the nation. So, uh, uh, to the point that uh, a commission of police challenged uh, Amechi, I can't remember his name now, uh, Mbu, Matthew Mbu, they blocked, they used the federal power to block the governor, the wicked uh, Amechi then, from entering government house. So, it depends on the level to which the sitting president is, is ready to deploy the federal power. Now, in the case of Amechi, the president then, which was Buhari, was not that um, a political... Uh, a, 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 a terrorist, I will, let, me, let me put it that way, that wants to deploy federal power to the level that was deployed during the time of Jonathan in River State. So he just left it at the peripheral. So where Wike was using uh, the power from Abuja, uh, uh, Amechi, uh, no, why Amechi was using power from Abuja, uh, Wike was using the power from, from, from River State. Wike had command control of the commission of police. He has control of the uh, GOCs. So he used the power with the state. And so when federal power and state power uh, jam, you know, there is, operational, there is a rule of engagement in every operation. So the man on the ground, uh, if we were able to buy him over, he, 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 he had the power. Oh, 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 okay. And again, I, I and again, most importantly, Bella, let me just make this point. Most importantly, the reverse people were the big culprit here. The reverse people supported Wike, not because they like Mike, not because they wanted a, a, an imperial man after Amechi, but simply because they felt uh, 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 Amechi betrayed Jonathan. You know, then the Jonathan factor was very strong. They just felt uh, the APC was not popular. It's still not popular in River State, to a large extent. It was not popular. They see it as a Muslim, uh, Aosa, Yoruba party. That's the, that's the river. This is the mistake, the very terrible mistake the river people made. So we can okay, okay, we really have to uh, go now. The Jonathan thing, let us have said Wiki. And so when he came in, he consolidated, and by 2019, APC was not even a ballot. He used every power. We, we really have to go now, Alistair. Thank you very much. Thank you for your interesting contributions. Uh, really very interesting. Uh, you're still very connected. Lagos has not totally snatched you. No, uh, Lagos has not totally snatched you from. I, I, I know, I, I know. I spent all my holidays in River State. And that was why, like that. that was why you naturally came to mind when, when this uh, topic came up. I wish you all the best. Thank you for. Uh, my my, my, my point, Bella, this point is, I just pray that terrorism do not go back to River State. 
that violence will not come back to the river state. And may God protect every life in the river state because what is happening now might take us back to those days of cold war and terrorism in the river state. May God not allow it to happen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alistair. We'll go for a short Thanks for having me, Bella. It's, it's my utmost pleasure. We'll go for a short break now. When we're back, we, we'll continue with the program.